Good morning, guys. We're uh, playing outside. Arlo has shoes over her jammies. What's happening with the kitty? Well, this is what Arlo's yelling at. Our cat is literally not a smart cat at all. Last week, she got trapped into the basement, which was actually worrisome because it was 105 degrees, but she ended up just being asleep in our garage. It was a weird thing. Anyways, we're playing outside. It's about 8 o'clock, maybe, maybe 7.30. And we're going to get some breakfast, and then I think we might go do something outside while our roof is getting banged on super loudly. And I might put some makeup on, but maybe not. Um, my face looks really shiny right now, but um, I recently got my brows done and I love it because I don't feel like I actually need to put makeup on to feel like, like I have brows. And so, anyways, we're just outside. It's just a really pretty morning and I thought I really fell. I'm not, I'm getting in such a rut with breakfast. So we usually have some kind of potato, veggie sausage, sometimes um, a vegan egg. Oh my gosh, the cat. Um, and then maybe sometimes even just like frozen waffles, but uh, avocado toast is another thing. But me and the kids don't really love. Yeah, that's Peppa Pig. We don't really love um, like oatmeal for breakfast. I can't really eat anything that's like sweet. And so. If you have any breakfast ideas that are quick, let me know. Hey, pup! Our little Bambi. He's still just as small. Maybe you guys didn't know, actually, that we got a dog. Or at least on the vlog. I don't think that I, like, announced that we got a pup. But he's a little, like, three-pound chihuahua. And we um, saved him from the humane... <laughs> saved him. We got him from the humane society. We got super lucky to get this cute little pup. Do you like Bambi? Uh, no, Kitty. Kitty's okay. She's literally going to be fine. Kitty. We're working on um, decluttering our house. And so it looks like a mess out here, which it usually is anyways. But we have a huge dumpster like truck thing parked in our house. And so we've been decluttering our garage, which was ferocious. And it still is, but it's way better. Hi, pup. But yeah, this is Bambi. And he's about four months old and he's not really gonna get too much bigger, but he is just so cute. He has like freckles, which are really just spots, but Bambi, what do you think? He's very playful too. What do you like? Spidey's climbing. She's yelling at this Spidey here. Oh, it's Wash the spider out. <laughs> out came the sun and tried to fall Spidey the rain. Chewing. Spidey's climbing. <laughs> and the itsy bitsy spider. Oh, Spidey doing. Spidey's climbing. Yeah. Spidey climbing. Yeah. Oh, when he's doing, oh, when? <laughs> Yeah. Little swinging action. You got Peppa? <laughs> Peppa Piggy's jumping. <laughs> we better go get breakfast. Hi. We actually ended up having so much fun at Blue Lake that I did not even pick up my phone to record anything, but I did take a few photos, so I wanted to include those and just show you what a great time we had at the park. <laughs> oh, waking up from nap. Oh, this puppy under there. Arlo sleeps in her own room now, but she just woke up and came in here and nursed, and then we're cuddling now. And it's like 3 p.m., so that's what happened after the park. Now we gotta figure out what to have for dinner. Dad is actually at his 
work office. So when it was nap time, I worked on this project here. This is um, some outgoing pen pal mail that I am sending. And if you guys don't know, I do have a Patreon and all of the members of my Patreon get monthly happy mail. And I send that out around, around the beginning of each month. So we're in August. And so I'm making these cute little like booklets for journals or just like whatever you want it. You can put gift cards in them. You could put little notes. Um, it doesn't have to be just for a journal. Anyways, much easier to work on this kind of thing. Wow, the little one's not yeah, climbing mommy, up mommy's mommy. leg. So, yeah, I'll hold you. It's four o'clock now, and so I don't have a plan for dinner. Um, we yeah. actually picked up Taco Bell. Yeah, it's easy to do vegan yeah, yeah, with Taco Bell. Yeah, Anyways, yeah, Anders, you just want to say. Okay. Okay, so we had that for lunch, and so yeah. then Hans is going to be home for dinner, and I really should have had a plan, but honestly, I need to go grocery shopping. And so we have leftovers from last night that the kids could eat, but then I have to figure out something for Hans and I. We've been on a kick uh, having like salads a lot. Well, Hans eats salads like all the time, but like a salad wrap or something like that. And I like to put like this vegan chicken in it that I like with like almonds and beans and like just so much, like a really loaded salad. And then you can see our junk food back here. <laughs> but um, yeah, anyway, so I gotta figure out dinner and Argo wants to nurse. She literally just nursed like five seconds ago. Did you? Yeah. You want to nurse again? Okay, mom. Nurse again. <laughs> nurse again? Was I the one offering? <laughs> Are you silly? You a nurse. Okay, let's go nurse. On the couch? Couch. Let's go nurse on the couch. So tonight is a really like lazy laid back dinner. I made these vegan pizzas last night and just so you know, we're not 100% vegan. Well, the kids and I were not. Um, we are really, really close, but there's some times when we just, you know, we splurge on something or it's just like easier to just not. Anyways, I don't know why you would care, but maybe you were curious. But anyways, these are vegan and the cheese that we like is follow your heart cheese. But um, I just made Arlo a small plate because I like to see what she's in the mood for before I give her a lot of something because you know she doesn't usually tell me what she wants and I don't like wasting food. So she has some pizza, some avocado, looks a little brown but still good, and some hummus. And then you saw Allie had a few, like they're tiny pieces of pizza with carrots. And so that's what we're gonna have now. Well, that's what the kids are going to have, but I need to go to the grocery store and get some things for Hans and I. I think I already said that. When he gets home, that's what I'm going to do. And so it's gonna probably be kind of a late dinner for us, but okay kids, let's eat. And I just fed the puppy his food. So come on in pup. So he's gonna eat. And oh my gosh, you guys. So this is a really special plant to me if you don't know. And I just had a new leaf that emerged. Well, obviously it's not here now. It was beautiful. Let me even just show you a picture because I was watching this thing grow every single day. And yesterday or the day before I came over and Arlo looked at me really guilty and she had ripped it off. And like, I feel like it's a little bit my fault for having a plant on the ground with having a toddler, but she really had seemed to know not to touch that plant. And we looked at it every morning and like she knew this plant was special to me. And she wasn't in a bad mood or needing attention at the time either. Like we were literally heading out to play on the trampoline and ripped it off and I, um, I cried. But it's okay now, I'm over it. So anyways, the kids now, we have this little table set up and it really, it really helps Arlo um, with eating, I feel like, because the high chair just wasn't working for her anymore. So, you singing a song? Yeah. And so I should probably get to planning some groceries and finishing this. <laughs> and this might be all that I vlog for the rest of the day. If I remember, I'll show you guys what I have for dinner. But it's been a pretty fun day. This is a pretty typical day for us. Our cat is seriously just not a cat. Are you gonna go down the slide? And our puppy has found a... Oh, oh we missed it. Puppy's eating a huge stick. Did you go down the slide, honey? Good job. We're playing outside. Kids eight and it's about six. And Hans just, he got home from work and he went to the grocery store so that um, he could get us stuff for uh, dinner. We're gonna have really delicious like salad wraps. 
so yeah we're just gonna play out here we have a few tomato plants out here i thought i would show you guys um so i have these two over here and then uh one right here one right here there's two in this one arlo got into the really dirty pool and then i have over here i think it's zucchini or squash this is i think it's called like calendula it's supposed to ward off bugs that like tomatoes something like that but anyways i'm pretty excited because i have a few teeny little tomatoes starting so i'm very excited about that